Welcome back to Danganronpa. You guys remember last time we had the class trial. We found out Teru Teru was the one who killed Byakuya because he was trying to kill Nagito because Nagito was being a creep. We have no idea what happened to with Nagito. Uh, locking him up or he's just roaming around free. We also learned Teru Teru had a sick mom that was waiting at home for him. That's why he really wanted to go home. I know I always said I didn't like Teru Teru because he was like really puffy and creeped me out, but you feel bad for him. It wasn't like he actually did his fantasies, he didn't actually attack anyone. I'm not saying that anyone that is like him, that makes cat calls girls, is good and you should do that. Don't do that, by the way. I'm just saying, the poor Kaiten doesn't really deserve to be fried alive in oil. Anyway, we're returning. I'm I'm not gonna do the magical real cool girl wanna me. Let's just see what it is. Uh it looks like some weird game. It probably has something to do with the fact that For a long time, oh, humans on. have been taught that if you try hard enough, you can accomplish anything. Yeah, because that's truth. Even if we weren't told this directly, you'd know it just by looking at the world around us. Yeah, now you know, look at the world around you. The internet, you. TV, and newspapers are overflowing with hopeful messages that say exactly that. And who invented that stuff? Non ultimate. It's like the one thing I really hate about this universe is that they put so much pedestal on these people ultimates, but like win. the world had to be invented people by people try before ultimates people existed. Who try their best and still can't win. That's not. No. They are all worthless trash. No, they're not. They're people. People care about them. There are two kinds of people in this world. Those who are born Oh with god, Earth that animation of his else. mouse. It's like not lined up with what he's actually saying. It's just going up and down. <laughs> That's so cringe. That's so bad. Oh god. No matter how hard a lowly human tries, oh, look at it. they will never be the same as someone who was born worthy. Uh, it's so bad. They say that effort breeds success, but that's a complete lie. It like keeps moving even when he stops for a second. Or at least stops when he's finished the sentence. Oh, finished the. No matter how hard background. a small dog tries, it will never become a large dog. That's because of physical. That's because of physical no impossibilities. Matter how much a penguin tries, there's no way it will ever soar through the sky. That is completely different. Humans can't fly. They can't grow wings. Are you saying the ultimates can't grow wings? Are you saying they're trash? Unworthy humans will never become worthy. Oh no god, Nagato, I really do. hate you right now. It's because every Nagato is like everyone's favorite character, but for me, I don't like him. I don't like this whole how he thinks people are some people, people are on a higher head don't pedestal. Talented. They're just born with their abilities right from the start. That's not how that works. What if someone who was super talented at the piano and never took piano lessons when they were a kid or never got interested in piano? Then they would never become talented at piano if they didn't start. That's right. Just like you guys. That's uh, why. What I if my so hero never got into photography? Huh? Huh? Then what? I'm sorry, he this whole thing really uh, bothers so you know, me. What I feel is different from admiration. You're obsessed. You're like a yandere. Admiration is wishing you could be like the object of your admiration. But what I feel is not so self-serving. How should I put it? What I feel is more pure. More like a selfless love that wants nothing in return. So, I want you guys to believe me when I say, I don't mind if you kill me. But if that happens, I want you to let me help. No one becomes a need if with the killer a survives, oh. or if everyone but the killer survives. I just want both sides to do their very best. I want to see with my own two eyes the absolute. How do you like to do that, that if you're ahead. dead? If the killer kills you, how are you going to see yep. the absolute hope? I'm really lucky. 
they're really weird. Someone as insignificant as me will be there when hope and despair collide and unleash their energy. You're a creep. So please, let me help you. Nope, you stay away from me. That's what I'd be saying, like, nah, nah, it's all good. We don't need your help. Go away. If you're planning to kill me, I would be honored to help you carry out your plan. No. I want you to use me as a stepping stone so everyone can shine. I want you to kill me in a way Please that tell me fits. someone punches him. Oh, shut up. I don't know who's saying that. Pow. <laughs> you got punched. Who punched? Oh, is it Akane? Because she said she was going to punch him. See in punishments, sin and coconuts. Okay. Chapter 2. Byaki and Teratero died just last night. Yeah. An ordeal like that doesn't change the fact I still get hungry. I learned this firsthand as I head towards the hotel restaurant with dreary, sullen footsteps. And almost everyone's here. Hey, my hero. How you doing? Oh. Uh, Hajime, you're already here. Good morning. Ah, yo. Good morning. Just as I thought, the atmosphere in the restaurant is pretty gloomy. But after what happened yesterday, it's kind of understandable. Yeah, that's to be expected. Byakuya, who appointed himself our leader, was killed, and the person who killed him was our friend. And the person who tried to kill someone was an insane man. That friend was also killed right in front of us. He was fried alive. It's horrible. After experiencing something like that, it's impossible not to feel sad. Wait for it, someone's gonna be like, I don't care. It's probably gonna be either Fuhiko or Kyoko. Kyoko, huh? I mean. Huh? You guys don't look so good. Your face all oh, look like you just attended two funerals in a row. Uh, yeah, that's because that's pretty much what happened. Except there was no funeral service for them. I guess some people don't feel sad. Well, she could be hiding it. Cause, she is a performer. That's like what happened. Yakia and Terry Terry got killed. I'm not talking to you. Uh, why are you always so mean to me? But still, I understand about Mr. Ham Hams. But is there really even a reason for us to be sad about Teru Teru's death? Well, yeah, because he was a person. And sure, not everyone got along with him, but. I don't know, it's just. It's weird. Hey, hey! What, what the heck do you mean? Why? Well, he was a crazy guy who killed someone. He totally deserved to die. I don't, I don't know. I'm not really... I don't really know much about these big political things. Like, oh, he should have died. He should have died. If he was meant to die, it should have been a more, less painful death than being fried alive. Hey. I understand how you feel, but you're going too far. That's weird. Huh? Is it alright to defend a killer? Are you trying to justify murder? That's not what she's doing. No. No, that was not my intention, but... Hey! Then you gotta hate him more than ever. You gotta hate him from the bottom of your heart. He's a stupid piece of trash who committed the lowest crime possible. He deserved to get killed. In fact, I'm rather relieved he was executed. If I could've, I would totally spat on him too. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? Jeez! Hey, what gives? Does a pea bring like you have something to complain about? It's not like that. Well, it's not about that, but... It smells... Something smells, don't you think? Huh? <gasps> Again? It can't don't be! Don't tell me. It better not be another dead body. I don't think it's that. that would be too soon. Hmm. Nah, it's not the smell of blood this time. It just smells really bad. Someone not shower is someone doing a toko and not showering. So we found out in the first trial in the first game that Toko hadn't had a shower yet. It smells bad. Um, it's 
kind of like how a bar or nightclub smells at the closing time, you see. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know those smells. You must have had a pretty rough life. Be quiet. You don't know her life. Maybe her parents are in a nightclub. Now you mention it, I do smell something. It's like a sewer or rotten garbage. I got it! Kaha, I know what it is. Nekomaru's breath probably stinks. Even if he had bad breath, I doubt it would have filled up the room like that. Yeah, you got me. I'm still not very good at his voice. I can't do his voice justice. He didn't say anything remotely funny just now. Hmm. No, it's not Nekomaru. The smell is coming from you, Hyoko. Hmm? Huh? Whoa. Well, it's true! Yoko, you reek! Oh god. What did you do to me? A rotten smell stings my eyes. As if a demonic apocalypse is about to commence. Is she gonna get us <laughs> Oh my my! Oh, she's crying! <coughs> hey! I said it before, but you guys are really insensitive. That was close. Uh, no, it actually doesn't smell that bad. I mean, as long as I breathe with my mouth. <coughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, Hyoko. Like, are you even taking baths? <laughs> no. You haven't bathed? What's wrong? I can't help it. I can't tie my kimono sash by myself. Okay, I see that she baths and then she can't put clothes on or... Yeah, I see why she would choose not to bath. And she won't ask for help because it's such a dangerous situation right now. <laughs> oh, poor Hyoko. Hey. hey, hey Hyoko, you don't have to cry so much. I imagine that, um, kimono sashes are really hard to tie. Especially by yourself, if you're not skilled with it. <laughs> I can only tie a simple knot, but if that's okay with you, I can teach you. Like, I used to have trouble with tying aprons around me, like in my hospitality classes. I can't even imagine how hard it is to tie a kimono sash. I love you, my hero. I'll give you a big kiss. Hey, Hyoko, you don't have to hug me. Remember it you smell. you cannot escape. <laughs> she appears to have taken a liking to you. <laughs> Welcome to the world of girl love. Slippery when wet. The air suddenly not so tense anymore. Well, I guess it's better than being down forever. If I was all by myself, I probably wouldn't be able to put my feelings aside and move on. I guess I have these guys to think. Anyway, what happened to Fuyuhiko and Nakito? It seems they are both not here. Now you mention it, you're right. Yeah. I saw Fuyuhiko earlier near the hotel. I invited him to breakfast, but he declined. It's always you, isn't it, Pe Peko? That's just for you, be Huh? Who cares about Nagito? <laughs> he is cursed. A child who summons misfortune, so to speak. Well, that may be, but... <laughs> just letting you know, I don't know anything. You know something. I have no idea! Without hesitation, I don't know anything about Nagito at all. That tells me you do know something. That's right! He's right! Forget him! Let's just forget about that creep already. But if he's wandering huh? around... The island freely, he could do something to someone. He of could harm not. someone. I'm not suspicious. That's right, I'm not suspicious. What's the matter? What's up? Did someone get kidnapped or something? You came just at the right time. Hmm? At the right time? No. Mm. I really don't. Don't really get it, but you must have yearned for me. Your outlook on life is being you to my cuteness, so your body can't stand to live without me, huh? I can't help myself, you know? My, my body reacts to Monokuma when it's on. Something like that? Cool, 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 cool. Stupid. Who cares about that? Just hurry up and tell us why you're here. Actually. To be honest, I'm searching too. My valued servant has disappeared. Talk about Monomi, or. If you're talking about Nagito, that is even more worrying. Who are you talking about? Seven? What the you know, hell? my mono beast. One of them just disappeared. Oh, the mono beast. Oh, is it like gonna let us go to a new island now that hmm. we face the trial? Maybe I cut back on the cost of their food too much. Perhaps they're boycotting me. Let me tell you this. But that guy's the weakest league of four. How shameful for a mono beast to lose to a mere human. K 
<laughs> That's what you want to say, right? Nature. So this is merely the prelude. The climax will soon occur after. Burn in the fires of pandemonium! Now that let me hear your scream, I shall make sweet music for you. Don't provoke him. They're gonna make Monokuma mad. Yeah, yeah. Hey Gundam, she's stop playing with that stuffed animal. My I'm still existence. I'm still being called a stuffed animal. Oh well, looks like you guys don't know anything about my, my, my mono beast either. And it's a waste of time for me to worry about. I don't, don't want to go bald from worrying too much. Okay. A wise cop once said, "Our eyes are on the front, so we can move, keep moving forward." Whatever you say, Ben. As Monokuma said those familiar sounding words to us once again, he disappeared. No way. Hey, what do you think he meant just now? He said something about a mono beast disappearing. Mm hmm. The only possibility I can think of is. I realize I made Peko and Chiaki sound very similar with my voices. I'm not very good at voices, but I'm gonna keep trying. So, oh, maybe the magical girl who saw me. Mon me thing from the main menu has something to do with the Mon Beast experience. Um, um, are you in the middle of something? If so, I can just come back later. <laughs> then leave. <laughs> God, please ask me to leave kindly. Hey, hey, uh, before you leave, I want to ask you something. Did you have anything to do with the disappearing Mon Beast? Ta da! Ah, yes, that's right. Ta-da! I'm the one who depleted that mono beast. You did? You serious? If ain't a monster like that, how the hell would someone like you pull that off? <laughs> I'll talk about that more detail in a different mode. Anyway, I released the bridge gate for you all. Hey, hey. The gate is open. Does that mean we can go to the new island across the bridge, right? Is that true? I'm telling you, I can't do his voice justice. That's totally right. Now you can go to all the new areas. Let's all get along and have a fun life together. Love, love. love. Um, we need to gather in this island isn't what's important. We need to find a way to escape. Jeez. Of course, escaping from this island is our main goal. Huh? Huh? Why Nobody you? wants to live in a swashbuckling Hollywood type action film. I want to live a life worth being more average. A life where nothing happens. That's better for me. Alright! Alright, if you find anything that can be salvaged with boat parts, let me know immediately. Um, it seems that everyone's in their own path is different from what I had planned. Now then, let us begin! Let's, let's disperse. The time has come to release the cursed seal. Alright! Alright, let's find a way to leave this island. That is impossible. Hmm? Leaving the island is no longer possible. Why? What does that mean? Well, oh, she's gone. Of course she's gone. Hey, hey. Why did we ever get a straight answer? Yeah, how'd you make Just leave that thing alone already. After all, she's the same as Monokuma. It's best if you don't get that close to her. Anyway, I guess we should go explore the new island. That might be all we do for this episode, because there's usually a lot of talking and stuff. Seems everyone's attention is shifted. Expecting to find something that help us escape in the situation. Everyone filed out of the restaurant. Oh, my hero's still here. Hey, oh, and here go. Hmm. A new island, huh? I should go find some clues too. Aww. Hey, you can't. You promised you'd tie my kimono sash. Hey. That, that was, we can do that after we finish exploring the new island. <laughs> but if I don't hurry and go take a bath. So. Oh. Call me smelly again, they're gonna bully me again. You bully people all the time! Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, let's take a light shower first. Yay! Yay, we're gonna wash each other! They're almost like sisters. Huh? Wash each other? Hey. Hold on, I don't think that's a good idea for me to go in too. <laughs> now, now, we're both girls, there's no need to be shy. But, but, but. Let's go! Come on, let's go! Yoko pulled my hero's hand, smiling like a child before a school trip, and headed toward the cottages. Yeah, they're kind of cute together. Wash each other? I see. How'd you make? Get your brain out of that area. There's no one else here. Ah, 
that's the wrong button. I was more looking around for hidden monokumas because I know that Morinda has chapters go on. But they're probably all on the second island. Okay. Actually, speaking of my hero and Hyoko, a lot of people do like ship them as a couple. I do think they would be cute as a couple, but I can also see their relationship as more like sisters as well. With how they act toward each other. No, nope, there's no one around here. Okay, let's go to the new island. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna cut it. Here we are at the second island. She's right, the mother beast that was blocking this gate has disappeared. Yay, we can go in. It lies beyond this bridge. Alright, I guess I should find out. How long of a walk is it from one island to another? So this is the new island. It's cool looking. Not so far. Yeah, it looks like a giant ruin over there. The ambiance seems different compared to the first island with the hotel. Probably because that was like reception or something. And now it's like, oh, the other can attractions and blah, 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 blah. Ah, you were too late. The seal has already been broken. Oh, is he talking about the gate? Probably. Uh, Gundam's funny. I like him a lot. Seal, is he talking about the bridge? Whatever, it's already been done. We have like, oh, it's a cool little like dino. Huh? Oh, it's you, dumbass! I'm trying to eat right now. Go away. Maybe he suddenly start yelling at me as he had a hamburger one hand. Wait. Hold on, why is he here? He wasn't at the restaurant, how does he know? A Pekko or something probably told him. See, there's nothing to click on. I like this area, it looks like a really 50s diner or something. Hey, why are you here? How'd you find out we can go to this island? <laughs> you monkey or something? Do you not understand human language? Shut the hell up! I told you to leave me alone when I'm eating! Jeez! Huh. An annoying person went out of their way to tell me. Annoying person. I found this place and now I'm eating here because I'm hungry. Mr. Solved, you happy now? Go get the F out of here or go and go somewhere else. Hey, that annoying person. It's got nothing to do huh? with you. Mind your own business. It's got nothing to do with you. Is it Pekko? It always seems to be Pekko who talks to him. Actually, it does have to do with me. I don't know what you're thinking, but we're all in this situation together. I'm not the only one stuck on this island. We all have to work together. You should know that by now, too, so. Why are you avoiding us? <laughs> not avoiding you. This is sad not to rely on anyone. Not to rely on anyone? Hmm. That includes the Kuzuryu clan. I can still survive without relying on them. Huh? Hey, you actually... Don't misunderstand. Don't get it twisted. I'm a Yakuza by blood. It's not like I want... Don't want to be the head of the family business someday. I just want to prove I earned it. Prove I'm tough without, without relying on my clan. Hmm. Plus, even if I fail, the clan will still be around. My little sister will be happy to lead it. Oh, you have a little sister? Shut the hell up! Shut up! Why'd you let me bring that up? Anyway. You brought that up yourself. Anyway. Anyway, I don't intend to spend any time with you guys. Nothing good can come of it. Nothing good can come of it? Hmm. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? This kind of situation, and interacting with others will only short to shorten your lifespan. Okay. Those idiots, Biakyo and Teratero, are proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's my time to kill. I don't think he's gonna kill. <laughs> You're still saying that. Of course. Of course, I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. 
You, you don't actually mean that. You're awful just for saying it. <laughs> you're the one who spoke to me without my permission. Don't get ticked at me. If you're so upset, you don't have to stick around. F off. What the hell? It's so stupid for me to talk to a guy like him. We'll melt his ice cold heart eventually. That's like a billboard. What does that say? Dinosaur billboard is spinning. A spinning restaurant signboard for an uninhabited island kind of freaky. Pork burgers? Is that what that says? It, there's a lot here for just like a group of 16 students. Oh god! You're screaming now! I voice just now. Wasn't that Ibuki? Run! Where are we going? We're going around. There she is. Hey, hey, Ibuki, what's going on? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Ibuki, are you alright? What happened? This, this is bad. I'm panicking so much, I don't even have time to space my words. What's going on? <laughs> the killing, the killing started again. What? Huh? Pointing. Look, over there. So I found out to the beach where Ibuki was pointing her finger. They're fighting? <laughs> Why? Your speed is adequate, but it's still not enough. Each blow you land is too soft. What the heck is this? I don't think they're actually trying to kill each other. Properly. Your athletic body is going to waste. Shut up. All I gotta do is win. What was that? You're gonna win? Against me? That's quite absurd! Yeah, I can't do his voice justice. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nicomer. Ah! I'm sorry, Light- I'm sorry, Lightning Bolt. Huh? Enough. You've- have you learned your lesson? We're done He's for. done it! Nekomaru will need his ultimate move, Super Body Blow. That's instant death. If she's lucky, she'll live another five minutes at best. Sheesh! Connor, your current power level, you could not defeat even a mere manager like me. What are you saying? Why are you guys fighting? <gasps> huh? This isn't a fight. <laughs> it's a one-sided beatdown. That's even worse. Rules for school tree police state excessive violence is prohibited. Training! What violence? This is not a real fight, we're training. It looks like a real huh? right? Real fight? Heh, <laughs> just a team manager. There's no way we will fight for you. You both agreed to this training session. I am not violating any rules at all. Alright. So, why this sudden interest in training? <clears throat> I gotta admit it. What the? She's alive! Kind of strong. She wouldn't be defeated by that. Fool! <laughs> It's not weakly you get killed by a weak blow like that. It didn't look like a weak blow. That would send me flying across the world. You look pretty strong, so I couldn't help but get excited. I thought Spryon would help me burn off some of this energy, but I lost. <laughs> More importantly, there's a lot of strong dudes in this world, huh? Oh, you should see Sakura. Sakura Owari. She will Aww. help you. A bunch of bad loving troublemakers. Honey, you seem to be the type who learns through actions rather than words. Is it? Is Sakura's last name Rory? I think it's something else. How you? How you use your body and muscles? Your position and your timing. It's all half. You're not utilizing your ultimate gymnast talent well at all. Basics. Make sure you understand the basics. You will always be second rate if you just rely on instinct. Okay. This is why he's the team manager. You. Damn it. Shut up. Then. You understand why I said just now. Come see me. When the time comes, I will fight you again. Well, that friendship is really sweet. Don't forget. I do ship them. I think they, they would make a good couple. Oh, and their hell loss. It was a warrior. I don't know why I'm I thought it was serious side. I don't give up till I beat ya. With wobbling steps, Akane left the beach. 
However, However, if you thought that fiercely with just her own style, I'm gonna my hand to soon them. That girl! She's probably gonna, She's get... Probably gonna get even stronger. Okay. You did the line Yeah, you're probably right. What kind of conversation is this? Hajime must not be into like a lot of wrestling or whatever. Oh, oh, that's that's really pretty. I, I see the, I see the Monokuma. Get over here. Huh? Are you serious? Yep. I will go get gifts and stuff off screen. That won't be until next episode. Okay, nothing else on the beach? Talking to you isn't gonna do anything? YouTube basics are foundation for everything. No, I get that, but training that resembles a fight might be. An actual fight might be fun, but she's scared to not scare her. Possible injury an athlete would disgrace me as a team manager. Okay. Okay, let's go in here. This pretty, pretty, um. Beach house? Yeah, beach house. And Kazuichi's in here. I thought this was a beach house since it's near the edge of the beach. It looks pretty luxurious. It's a rich person's beach house. Yeah, it's celebrity style. Yo! Hey, doesn't it feel awesome like it's a celebrity's pad or something? The shower's out of order, but the ambience is nice and the fridge is stuck with loads of drinks. <laughs> hey, plus the beach outside feels so private, it's awesome. Compared to the urban seas that full of trash and debris, this place is completely different. We're the only ones on this island anyway, so anywhere we go is a proper beach. Hey, hey! Hey, hey, don't shatter my dreams like that. That's right! More importantly, why don't we splash around on this private beach? Whoa. Awesome! Don't leave awesome! Splashing around such a gorgeous beach is really the best. He, it's his usual happy to look yourself. Well, I guess that's one of his good Miss qualities. Sonia. I wonder if Miss Sonia would come too. I want to see Miss Sonia in a bikini. You can't! Whoa. Whoa! It's hair! Hey. Why not? Are you trying to interfere with my love affair with Miss Sonya? It's really one-sided. I won't forgive you! Chasing the beach house is prohibited! It would be bad if shameful peeking occurred. Okay. Oh, so you mean changing here isn't allowed? Not going to the huh? beach itself? I'll just have to come here after changing. I'm never gonna give her up. You might let her down, though. Got it? Anyway, breaking the rules is not allowed. Also, playing is fine, but please focus on your studies too. What studies? This isn't school. You guys? Where? Where's the rule breaker? I'll be the. Out of them, no questions asked. Yeah, ah, he's here. Ew, what are you holding? <sighs> a machine gun, obviously. Real big is that rule? Please shut it up. That's just common sense. I don't think that's very common. It's common sense where? It's not like we're under a military dictatorship. <laughs> oh, I want to shoot something. I know I'm not allowed to, but I really want to shoot something right now. You shoot a rock or something. You yeah. shoot a tree. You can control yourself. Hold it here. I have iron Hold willpower, so I want to do it no matter the cost until the day someone breaks the rules. It's very dangerous, so please refrain from changing at the beach house. All right. Okay, we won't do that. Uh, wow, that was totally bizarre. Men, they're annoying. They are a bit. Yeah, I feel very tired all of a sudden. Refrigerator, there's a lot of drinks here, like water and coffee. But most of the drinks have colored dyes and might be bad for your health. Can we drink these for free? I don't see how you would pay for them. Looks like this closet, um, side looks like a small storage room. It's almost like a walk-in closet. There's surfboards ranch on the shelf, but I'm not into surfing, so. That must lead to the other side of that door. Looks like this is the shower room. There's a nurse on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or construction or something like that. Why is there so many things under construction? Anything else? So that leads back out to the beach we were just at, and that must lead to the road that we came in on. This door leads to the road, which reminds me, when we mentioned Nacho at the restaurant, Kazumichi seemed pretty unsettled about something. Let's ask him. 
guess I should ask him about it. Which reminds me, I have something to ask you. Huh? huh? What? What's about Nagito? Ugh. I haven't seen that guy all day. Do you know where he is? Well. I don't know. Seriously, don't ask me. Who cares about that crazy guy anyway? We need to search this island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. How annoying! Well, let's just end on this annoying talk right here. And that's it. All done. And the conversation very forcefully, just as I thought. He's definitely hiding something. Okay, but she said we can't change in here. What if we wore a bathers under our clothes and then came here in the clothing and just took the top layer of clothing off? Does that count as changing? Oh, it probably doesn't matter. We're back at the diner. I don't think there's anything here I need. No hidden monokumas. Nope. Okay. Let's go to the second island. In the drugstore. What about the little shops beside it? Why can't we go there? Very nice, very clean, looks very futuristic. Um, I'm sorry, I got so excited and started shouting. I was so happy that someone talked to me before people either hated me or grossed out by me. Those are such sad choices. More importantly, is this drugstore? It looks pretty clean. Looks like there's no one here either. There's no one around this island. Well, these medical supplies, I'm pretty sure we can handle most illnesses or injuries. <laughs> if you don't feel well, let me know. I'll give you lots of shots. This is probably why people are grossed out by you. You stay stuff like this. Lots and lots and lots of shots. No, thank you. I think that's overdosing on shots. Uh, not throw away my shot. Sorry, I got that in my head now from that. I love the Hamilton musical. Wait, I saw it. I saw it just as I was leaving. There's a hidden Monokuma there. I'm gonna grab it before I forget where I put where it was. Normally, I just do the hidden Monokuma stuff off camera, but I knew you could do it. If I see them, I will get them. Okay, now we're done here. We can go away. Run, 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 <gasps> Library, I love libraries. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's so big and beautiful. And there's a hidden monokuma up there. Wow, that's an impressive amount of books. It's really a library, but nevertheless, it looks pretty overwhelming. Hallelujah. Oh, there's the destroyed Monomi statue. Oh, the bronze statue of Monomi. I mean, Usami before she got redesigned. <laughs> Looks like it broke when it got dropped. Game treated like a nuisance, even a statue. That's pretty sad. Looks like it's also been like drawn on. Monokuma's like the face it. Okay, let's look this in. I am a little surprised. I never expected to find such a splendid facility. It rivals even my homeland's natural library. Isn't it strange? I mean, does this resort really need a library like this? Hey, some people like to read on their vacation. I am concerned. That is very true. I just expected nobody's here either. You're right, the fact we're the only humans on this island is weird. Monami is here. I'm reading a book. Since you've come here, would you like to explain me and explain this library um, to you? Hi, I see. Um, it's clear from your face and your nuisance. Since it was more energy than usual, I feel even emptier now. What about your explanation? <laughs> well, you're all basically cinch, right? I was thinking you need a place where you can do homework. But where? What homework? We don't get homework here. So um, pretty soon. Prepared? You? <laughs> Everyone can get along and study together. It's my, it's a student duty to study. Study what? We don't have any homework. And there's, there's no school here. You literally told us in the first episode. Forget all about Hope Academy and have fun in your life and blah 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 blah. And now you're like, you have to study because you're students. 
You make no sense. However, I guess nothing makes sense. I cannot believe she's someone who prepared this facility. I see. I According see. to this island's guidebook. Yes, with the guidebook. That's what we need. Many of their guests are wealthy and safe for weeks at a time. We can learn more about the island. This is Which what we means? need. These were all probably things that, that they donated. Hang on. Rewind. Go back. Island handbook. Yes, please. I mean, guidebook. I found it in this library. Would you like to take a look? What language is this? I have no clue. It's English. But I guess for him, considering they're meant to be Japanese, he wouldn't have any idea what English is. No, he wouldn't know how to read English. But it's English for us. Although I guess if you put in Japanese mode, it would be in Japanese. Which is even more confusing. Or maybe it would still be in English because in Japan they... It would be like, oh, what is... What language is this? Then... Then I shall read it on your behalf. You can read it, Sonia? <laughs> <laughs> I am fluent in 30 different languages. It's a requirement for members of the royal family. I guess that would help, like... Communicate to other countries, like for diplomatic reasons. Um, Japuk Island is a small island in the Pacific Ocean, known for being the tower paradise of eternal summer. Yeah, that's what Byakuya told us. Japuk Island consists of a small central island surrounded by five other islands. The outer islands were developed as resorts, while the central island houses a large administrative building. But it doesn't! It says administrative building, but it doesn't have that. Huh? Yeah, where's the administrative it's building? Strange, That's no? strange. I mean, the central island of Japawak Island. It doesn't have a build. This one doesn't have a building. It just has a statue. There was no sign of any buildings at all. The only things that were there were Monica Morocco and the park. Um. Also, according to this guidebook, it says there is a bronze statue in the lobby of the building that can sim uh, which symbolizes the island. We have the statue, but we don't have the building. Yeah, it wasn't in the lobby of the building. We would notice if there was a building there. Please wait. That's not all. There's another description that just strikes me as strange. According to the skybook, the only way to travel between the five islands is by boat. Yeah, I always thought the bridges would be, like, super dangerous, and it would take a long time to walk across it. Critics worried about the effect on the environment, so no more thought. Yeah, that was, is also a big thing. So, like, why are there bridges? Hmm. Da 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 da. It was like, it would take a long time to walk from one island to another. They're not exactly right beside each other. But probably this place is... An artificial island like Palm Jumeria. Is that a real place? Someone check it for me. Or I'll check it later. Palm Jumeria? Artificial island? Well? Palm Jumeria is a huge artificial island and tourist site located in the Persian Gulf. Gulf. Whatever. I can speak. Similarly, this island might be an artificial island designed to look it like Jabbalk Island. Be. You mean like all the Animal Crossing islands that are designed to try and look like Jabbalk Island? Just kidding. Well, something like that would be totally impossible anyway. No island of the size can be completely artificial. Yeah, that would take a lot of work. The skybook might be must be old too. Oh, why don't you they have like a publishing date, don't they? That says like when the book was published. Or when this particular version of the book was like published. You should you should definitely check out like what's on the back of the book. Have a those guys only when they could do something on such a massive scale. Those guys? The hint is, you know the or enormous organization you guys were talking about before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's true. Those guys totally deserve to be called a heart of a group of people. Ooh. Oops, that suit was a slip of the tongue. I should excuse myself before it leaks onto the internet. Too late! Hey, hold on. But before my voice could reach you, Monokuma disappeared. It cannot be. Could it be? Is this island truly completely artificial? There's no way that is true. There's no way that. No, you there's are no right. way the guidebook is probably wrong. You are right. That's right. That's obvious what it is. He's just saying strange things to confuse us. Is he? 
Damn it, there's no way I'd fall for that. Okay. Let's look at the bookshelf. Can we look at the bookshelf? Hmm, what language are these books written in? French, Italian? I don't even know. I see. Hmm, such I see. An interesting description. What are you reading? Are those political books or some kind of philosophy? The newest issue of Occult Magazine! It breaks the lid of the underground mysteries and the wonders of the world! That's quite a surprise. You are wrong! It, it's not like I read it often, I'm just reading it because it has a special article about serial killers. How'd you mean leave her alone? She can be interested in that kind of stuff if she wants. It seems this writer has very good taste. I mean, it even has Genocide Jack mentioned in the article. Cool. Hey, Doko! Oh, that's funny. They mentioned the oldest stuff from the first game. Hmm, that Genocide Jack whatever. I feel like I've heard about her before. Did they know she was a girl? I mean, I always thought when they, because they called her Genocide Jack, that everyone assumed she was like a boy or something. Was there like information leak that was potentially a girl? Huh. Most tight. Genocide Jack is an alleged a Japanese serial killer who has a reputation even among casual internet users. She's very popular among youths and is known for writing messages and blood at the scene of the crime. She's a high school or middle school student who wears a sailor uniform. Be careful, Hajime. Well, I always thought that the only thing they, they didn't actually know if that was certain or not, or if that information wasn't leaked to the public yet. Whatever. Maybe at this point it is. But Taco was never arrested, so... Clearly, don't find her. Do you know how many high school and middle school girls wear a sailor uniform these days? This one is a particular favorite of mine. Sparkling justice is a, is a regular subject of these kinds of exclusive articles. I shall explain to you just in case. Sparkling justice is a serial killer who calls themselves the ally of justice. Also, also, wait a wide variety of humans. Sparkling justice is a delightful serial killer who only kills criminals. So like a vigilante. Amazing. Thanks to the mask sparkling justice wears, nobody knows their real age or gender. After all, it's essential that Sue Kudos be mysterious. What an expert, yes! Hey. hey, you two. I've been listening in for a while now, but... Why are you talking about me and murderers with such enthusiasm? Enthusiasm. I haven't done any talking. Please wait! Please hold on! It's a mistake to refer to these people as mere murderers. See? Coming in contrast with a value system that differs from your own is a very important matter. Serial killers, their value system is very different from the norm. What a marvelous existence! I'm totally intrigued. Kind of like a young lady crushing on a total bad boy kind of situation. Regardless, it's clearly different from a princess who's obsessed with serial killers. She's allowed to like whatever she wants. I watch a lot of different crime shows and they have serial killers and stuff in them. It's always interesting to read them about them sometimes. Like, if you ever read the stuff about Jack the Ripper, it's actually a pretty interesting read. Hajime. Ah, uh, Hajime. Oh. Oh, it's you, Chucky. What happened? Well, um, I'm letting everyone else know too, but can you come to the ancient ruins on this island right away? You can write. Okay. Hurry up. Based on her pushy tones, she might have found some kind of clue. I guess I should have over to the ancient ruins. I didn't get to talk to Becco. Oh. <laughs> I'll talk to her during free time. Yeah. Oh? What the heck is this? Such a good, gigantic building. However, um, however, it's clearly faded. It looks like an ancient ruin. What's with the clouds in the background? They're moving so fast. I also like the dust that's moving in the background too. Well, it seems perhaps this is an actual ancient ruin. Hmm, it could be. What's going on? How should I say this? Don't you think this building resembles a school? Yeah, it kind of looks like, um... Help speak academy. Now you mentioned it, I don't know how, but I do see what she means. There might be a resemblance to Hope Speak Academy. Oh, 
Yeah, it kind of does look like it. Maybe just not as tall? I'm not sure. But it would be weird if this, like, island in the Pacific Ocean had just, like, this school, considering it's supposed to be a resort vacation location? Vacation location? Anyway. Well, there are a lot of similar looking buildings. It's just a coincidence that this room looks similar. It doesn't just look similar, it looks very similar. It's a coincidence, right? Most likely not, knowing how this game works. Hmm. You found something, right, Chucky? What'd you find? Hey, bastard! Let me cut you, but this is just a waste of time. Hey, for you, Hiko. You came, you came. I didn't know you were also here. The girl over there kept bugging me, so I finally came. <laughs> Did you maybe find a way to get off this island? Nope. No, nothing like that. Of course it wouldn't Aww. be that easy. Oh, then who cares? I should have played in the bath with my hero more. Let me ask. Then what in the world did you find? Chucky found something. What is this? Then let's ask her. But yeah, the building looks a lot like Cope's Peak. Yeah, let's ask Chucky what on earth she found. Hey Chucky, what did you find? It's not a way of this island. Does it have something to do with this island's secret? Hmm, what about that? I don't know. Hey, what do you mean you don't know? Hmm. It's like it doesn't belong with a building like this. I keep thinking about it and it feels unnatural. Um. It's like a comic book originally about baseball becoming a side scrolling action game. That is. That's actually pretty normal. <laughs> That's actually pretty normal in a lot of different anime games. Unnatural like that. Okay. That's a little hard. No, that's a little hard to understand. See? Look, that door over there. The, the, the door to the building? Door? This door, it kind of looks like the, um, the vault door to, that led outside in the first game. <gasps> what if that's like a thing? Like, while we're going on out here, the first class, or like from the first game, are inside this older version looking of Hope Speak Academy. Doing the same thing, and Monokuma's got like two killing games going on at the same time. Flash make from all the dust, but this is a door, you, this is the door you mean, right? That's right. Yeah, it looks like this is the door to the ruin. Hey. So what's wrong with this door? Can you go inside? Um, Before we attempt to go inside, let's try brushing off some of this dust and clearing some of these rude things off the door. If you do, I'm pretty sure you understand what I mean by unnatural. I mean, it For looks now. pretty futuristic. I don't really understand, but I guess we should just do what she says. Just as Chucky said, we brushed off the dust and cleared the roots that were stuck to the door. And then... Yeah, it looks too futuristic to belong on a ancient ruin. What's going on? It's like a door from a sci-fi movie, don't you think? It definitely doesn't fit with an ancient ruin. Looks like something straight out of Alien. And what's this symbol on the oh. door? Hmm? Looks like it's Japanese. Oh! Oh, you're totally right! Um, um, I'm sorry if it's just my misunderstanding, but to me it looks like it says Mirai. Or future. Future? Hey, who cares about the symbol on a door? The a door a symbol on the door. More importantly, how do you open it? What's inside? Hey. Looks like there's a liquid crystal display next to the door. Could the two be related? Hey. All right, that must be the key to open the door. Probably set to when, open when you type the password. Yes. Yes. You know, high and mighty. So what's next? Hey, leave him alone. He's making suggestions. He's helping. It's obviously impossible to put the password within without you. 
Are you saying a normal person can't open it back? Yakuza can? That's hilarious. Hey, he didn't say that at all. Shut up! Shut up! We'll just type whatever. We might get it right. I doubt that. I think we have to learn more about the island first. Uh, I think we should wait. Doesn't that seem dangerous? Yeah, yeah, because uh. no one else knows the gun next to the, wall, the door. Does that thing next to the panel? Doesn't it look like a gun? In fact, that's totally a gun. A gun? Huh? That's a gun? So, it is. It's probably very dangerous. It's possible you might get shot if you mess up the password, right? Most likely, yes. Okay, this is what you do. You get a really long stick, and you sit, step back away from the door, and you just use the stick to type out the passwords. <laughs> Damn it! Can't be helped. Looks like it's better if we don't mess with it for now. <laughs> He's totally freaked out. Then you do it then. Shut the hell up! Yeah, exactly. You do it then if you're mm. just not scared. But still, a building that looks like an ancient ruin with a door that looks like it's from a sci-fi film. It's definitely unnatural. This is probably an important mm. place. Important place, huh? The problem is, how is it all gonna open? Um. Um, <laughs> you're both quiet. I'll you, you guys don't set me up with uh, this building too, right? Just be honest with us. I'm sorry. I have no idea. I have no idea at all. I don't know either. Um, but now, everyone should focus on gathering the whole fragments. I won't be fooled. Hey, there's no way you guys don't know. Just don't, don't just show up and tell some lousy lies. Yeah, Monami seems to be obsessed with this whole hope fragment thing. I wonder what it's uh, actually about. You guys probably don't want to cover the door with dust, right? Um, just as I thought, you guys were hiding it on purpose. They can't exactly hide that. It's a ginormous building. We obviously would have seen it. Hey, hey don't talk like we're equals, you trashy girl. You're sorry, she already did. Oh I just said it. I just said I'm sorry. <gasps> is it possible there's some connection between this door and the reason this island is uninhabited? I'm trying to say that all the people are locked inside? For example, this place might be a shelter and there might be natives hey. inside. Is something happening to the world that makes them hide in the shelter? If so, we're all screwed. You're getting all riled mm -hmm. up! Several business possibilities mm. crossing my mind, but it looks like there's no way to confirm it yet. That door is really sturdy. And not in a material sense, more essential than that. Huh? Huh? What are you saying? Hey! For um... instance, even though Mona me and I can come and go as we please, we can't enter what's beyond that door. Ooh, uh... Huh? You can't go inside too? Does that mean you're the same as me and... Supersonic meteor rush like that. Supersonic meteor rush. Well now. There, now that I've set my sister up with her fantastic Pegasus meteor fist. This is the mystery of Jabberwock Island, a mystery that even one of me and I can't solve. Yeah. That's why I have the high expectation for you guys. One day you'll be able to solve that mystery. <laughs> that seems easy enough. Why well, yeah, I just remember that that black and white Tanuki said before. Hey, why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Home Sweet Academy were arranged to come to the island, it. that's right, this probably a traitor. I don't even know about high among the group. <laughs> Just kidding. I know. There's a traitor among us. That's probably what the ugly tiny said fine, before. Fine. Ah, call me ugly Anna Toniki. Those words of silly names don't depress me in the slightest. Hello! He's totally depressed. <laughs> There's a traitor. They probably know how to open the door, right? Probably like boats. And so we connect the outside world beyond that door. Ah, oh, well, who may, maybe whoever's controlling Monokuma and Monomi is hiding in there. But do you really think there's a traitor no among us? Of course there is. Who the hell is it? Hurry up and fess. That's... There isn't. There's no traitor anywhere. And yet you sweat. How do you sweat? You're like a bunny. 
too? Hey, bastard. Or who what about you? You're the one who mentioned it. <laughs> What's so funny? Hey, hey. Oh, just you guys heard of an organization called World Ender? And we're now we're getting into the plot. World Ender? I'm the one asking you questions. Don't change the subject. Come on! I understand why you just want to ignore it. Well, then there is such an embarrassing name. So embarrassing that only middle school students. No, wait. Elementary school students will come up with it. But the name is unavoidable because that's the organization actually exists. Oh, what? So what is this organization? <laughs> it's literally what it says. I don't believe it! Those guys ended the world. <gasps> ended the world? I doubt it. Hey, um... That's not an overstatement or a metaphor, you know. Those guys really did end the world. Hmm. So do you think it's appropriate to call them world so enders? Basically. You mean they're a terrorist organization? Hmm. Terrorist, huh? That might be accurate. But all the losers are terrorists. If they manage to win, they become heroes. In that sense, they're more like heroes. Look at this place. It's, everything's destroyed. The heroes who ended the world. I don't think anyone sees them as heroes. What's going on? So, so what? Don't say things that don't make sense. Don't tell me you're gonna say this organization is the one putting us through all this. Mm. World Ender. You saying you and Bonnie are also members of that organization? Who knows? Who knows? The only thing I can tell you is the organization that the traders were working for? The one who brought you to this island? What? World Ender is behind it all! Are you kidding? Why are we being targeted by a horrifying organization like that? Don't panic. Don't panic. It's just another made up story to trick us, like when he said we lost our school memories. I can't suspend my belief for something as ridiculous as World Ender. There's no way that organization or the traitor exists. Monokuma, I should listen to you spout nonsense all you want, while I puff cigar smoke at your lifeless body. <laughs> Condom's cool. That's my, my, I was kind enough to keep you guys informed. Are you calling me a liar? What the heck? Girl, if you keep acting like that, I'll do this and that to your fries, body parts. Silence! Anyway, I'm telling the truth. The world and organization is the final boss of this island. Plus one of the members is hiding among you guys. That's why you guys gotta find that traitor and kill them dead. Hey! Hey, you better stop! I'm gonna Shut up, Money Me, big brother to find trash like you needs to be punished. No! No, don't pull my ears, they're gonna come off. <laughs> Marakuma and Money Me departed from the area, leaving the rest of us dazed and confused. What was that just now? What's going on? Is there anybody who understands what you was talking about? Um, not a clue. Yeah. <laughs> She's sleepy. Hey, hey. For now, since the sun is setting, we should just go home for the day. I think it's a waste of time for us to keep thinking about this. You're right. Hey. That's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better idea. Let's just call it a day. After exploring the new island, we all we've uncovered are more mysteries. As we lowered our heads and embodied that reality, bombed that reality, we returned home. I'm dead tired from walking around all day. Jeez, I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's starting to make my head hurt. Each ruin, strange doors, traitors, and world ender? I have no idea what's going on anymore. I don't feel even feel anxious about it. I guess I should go to sleep for now. And with that, I laid, I laid my exhausted body onto the bed and fell asleep. Monokuma Theater! I don't like this! My least favorite food is definitely crab. I also don't like shrimp, apples, tomatoes, and seasoned chow eggs. I don't like red foods at all. Red foods are red because they have crab inside them. That's a conspiracy by the crab industry to try and make me overcome my disgust. There's no way I'd fall for that. I will never ever eat red food. You see, our society is filled with various hidden conspiracies that closely look forward think. to the next. Whatever. Gonna, as soon as it gives me a save point, I'm gonna save and end for today. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same committee meeting as always in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Morning already, huh? Feels like morning came so quickly, like the night got skipped or something. <laughs> Game mechanics. Explains why I feel so tired. But I'm hungry, so I should just go to a restaurant and eat something. Not today. We're gonna go save, and we're gonna end for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye!